Musician Pisa Okoye, popularly known as Mr. P, has joined Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Ipo, to describe Nigeria as a zoo. Nigeria is a big joke, Peter said in a tweet on Thursday while reacting to the approval of 27 billion naira for the renovation of the National Assembly complex in Nigeria, which was built in 1999 at a cost of nearly $35.18 million. He said, National Assembly that was built with, with 13.6 billion naira but would be renovated with 27 billion naira. These people have no shame. How can shameless people have shame in this country? Instead, they keep increasing in their shamelessness. 27 billion naira. How? This is my country. It's a big joke. 27 billion naira. How many of you wish you were not born in this country right now because of our failed leaders? <laughs> I think when people uh more people are coming out the more more people are coming out to speak the better for us the issue this issue of silence is too much just within the uh, span of uh, how many days we have had a whiskey uh, speak we've had a yemi alade you know she has spoken many of them you know few of them like that okay uh bank uh, banky w she he has spoken as well now Peter, uh, Peter, Mr. P is coming out to speak because now when you leave it for some people, you know, now he's trying to cut. See, it's not even only him, a lot of people, even some people on radio, they will say at times uh, they tend to believe that really Nigeria is a zoo. Of course, we are just trying to tell Unam the Kano, Unam the Kano, you know, you are doing a good job, but just, you know, just try to, you know, be calm at times. You know, this uh, using some kind of a uh, uh, words. I know it is very, very annoying. But if you look at it holistically, you see that is just the truth. That is just the truth. Even in as much we encourage him to just, you know, to 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 just calm down a bit. <laughs> that does not mean that he should not speak the truth. It's like, oh, he's the only person. Because even forget it, whether you like Biafra, you don't like Biafra, it is not a must. Now in Namdekano is calling on Hausa people to to go for their refrigerant uh, uh, to demand for their own freedom that this issue of a Awusa Fulani it is not it that is not the way it is it is Awusa that because of the the way these people were captured and they were overtaken invaded their place that was how they became they are now putting it together they are never indigenous and that is the truth nobody is making it up those truths are there right before us but people just decide to go in the line of a lies they don't want to accept the truth so it's not like, okay, oh, this guy is talking about it. Uh, we want to go our separate way. We want to have our nation. And I've been asking whether it is a crime, whether it is a criminal offense for somebody to say that. I don't understand. I don't know whether it is a, it is a criminal offense for somebody to demand that. So it's not like, oh, people are just trying to blackmail him. You are doing this and that. And in the recess, that is not the way it is. Now, he will be talking about Nigeria. Is the one, I can't see, I can say. Ali is the only formidable opposition that we have in this country. The only formidable we have a uh, opposition that we have in this country that is always saying it just the way it is. Every other person is just they are hiding. They don't want to say anything. They don't want to make it seem as if oh, before you know they will they will bab you. Before you know they will they will intimidate you. Now Wale Shenka is beginning to speak, saying the same thing. You know, by and large, majority of them I know. Not that it's only Namde Kano that knows, but he has he, the, the difference is that he has that that a uh, will. Is it the will I would say? He has the boldness, he has the strength, he has the courage to speak. That is, he has the courage to speak. You know the fear person. He goes just talking the way be. He they talk on the way be. But the rest people who might know they are just hiding, they are afraid. Some of them, because of what they want to eat, they, they decide to turn the other way around. They will be painting what is not. For somebody who is not a nonsense person, if you are in this country, if you are in, not a nonsense person, you don't take, you are a nonsense person, you will speak the truth. Even if you, are, if you are hungry, even if you don't have any food to eat, but as soon as you speak that truth, as soon as you open your mouth to speak that truth, you will be filled, be, you will be satisfied than for you to be, to be filled with all manner of a, a, a food or whatever and based on lies. 
because you are getting something. You think when you eat that food, you think when you have drive that car in in in, in the you know true lies. You think uh, you will be satisfied. No, you cannot be satisfied. It is better you are hungry physically, but within you there is that peace. There is that inner peace because you are saying the truth. A lot of them see them. They don't have peace because they are seeing the truth. They are covering it up. So the the earlier the people begin to come out. How many people? I I listen to one lady. You see how many people they want they want key. This fear 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 fear. I've not even been hearing this woman of late. I hope eh, she's good. Aisha Yesufu. She has been saying the same thing that. If you say, oh, I mean, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. That you check yourself. Even the kind of life where you live now. You are, you are not even saying the truth. You are just hiding. Are you not, are you not as, as, as good as dead? And you don't want to die. You don't want to die. You don't want to do this and that. Wait, see. So the more the, these people continue to come out to say the truth, the better for them. The better for all of us. Not for them. The better for all of us. Because now everybody is just living. Oh, now they can. This guy is a troublemaker. Oh, this guy. Which day self you go even even quiet yourself. safe. Which day you go even stop all these things? Which, you have not asked yourself, which day these sufferings go, go, even, go, even, go, go even stop? Somebody was talking. I, I, do, I do listen to radio. Somebody was saying something on radio. Oh, they have been, they, they, they are some market women. They are collecting 10,000. They are getting a last. I don't know whether you guys have got, uh, have heard about that. They are getting 10,000 for trader money, this and this and that. They don't know the politicians from nowhere, this and that. Oh, they are giving the 10,000. They should announce it. That people will not talk about it. Oh, now, the people, when it comes to something else, oh, they will blow it out of proportion. They will start saying it's everything on social media but a lot of women market women they don't know politicians but they're getting 10,000 naira. i just shook my head those are the things those are the yeah, yeah 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 small small things that will not it will even damage your life the more because it's it's going nowhere those ones that collect 10,000 naira the last time where are they now tell me where are they now they are receiving 10,000 naira do something in the country something that will shake the whole world that will make oh the whole world we say, ah, I want to go to Nigeria. I want to go to Nigeria. Just like everybody wants to go to all those developed countries, you know, your, your favorite countries that you want to go to. Oh, let people say, do something. Oh, I want to go to Nigeria. I want to go to Nigeria. I want to go and visit Nigeria. That's why you now be seeing a lot of people who have friends in Nigeria. If you do something dramatic, I can, I'm, I'm just trying to... Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> they are even talking of 27 billion naira to repair, to renovate a, a national assembly. I don't know whether you guys have heard about one point something trillion, whether one point seven or one point eight trillion naira has been spent on power since twenty thirteen to date. And yet, where is the power? They have been asking about Sanjo, Baba Yabo, where is light? Where is the money? Where is power? They've been asking the same question since twenty thirteen to date. They are the same. It's not by maybe you are trying to say this. They are the same. Somebody was saying, oh. When they want to share money, all these politicians, no, they are friends. They are best of the same feathers. You see that uh, they are uh, saying it now. They've gone to see their friend. They have just came out from the prison. What is it? Oh, see, the, the more you continue to say, oh, this person, now our person, no, make we you know, expose them, or make we you not know, talk about them, or this and that, what of the other people? The Bible says for those who are Christians that if you know the truth and say the truth, the truth, the truth that you know will set you free. I'm trying to... Uh, paraphrase this truth that you say it will set you free because somebody is your person and you say oh let us cover our own uh, let us cover them uh, what about stop pointing somebody does what is not good say it if the person uh, 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 does something that is right she say it don't say oh because it's my person uh, those people they always cover themselves those who have been covering themselves how is their life now those who do not even talk about their their leaders the wrong doings about their leaders some people they will tell you say some people carry brilliant van uh, the day of election, the day to election, and some people come and make uh, excuses for you. They will be saying you, your your papa money lost, your papa money miss. Even the Emir Alade that was even speaking of the promises, she was even just trying to even be nice. Now all the promises they made that they have not done anything. And somebody was asking her that uh, her father was a a policeman. That what did her father do? You can imagine that kind of mentality. If some people have such mentality, believe you me, it is not everybody that have such mentality. Some people. People that that their 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 brains, their everything, they are everything, their senses, you know, still intact. They are still there. Everybody cannot just move on the same direction. So, 
a lot of them know the right thing because of fear of whatever or whatever reason that is making them not to speak out. They know the reason why they're not speaking out. But the more people come out to speak, the better for us. The more because they use their platform to spread this whatever, the better for everybody. You are supporting politician that does not have your interest at all, that does not care about you. And those are the people you are supporting. Tell me what are what are the dramatic or uh, 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 tangible things that we we are talking of things that we shake the world, not moving around, you know, uh, uh, whatever. If you have not listened to one of the videos that I talked about in Namde Kano, a lot of things that he said that you know you just you just be like wow, wow. I'm sure a lot of people must have not heard about that. You will just you know try to piece it and bring it out. So the more we come out, they say the truth, the better for us, the better for all of us. The better for all of us. Majority of the people who are in diaspora, honestly, if you go and interview them, a lot of them want to come back home. For the fact that, okay, everything is okay, this and that. But there is that inner thing in them that, how oh, I wish this place is my country. How oh, I wish this and this and that. And that's why they always say, there is no place like home, which is true. If those people have their way, they will want to be back in Nigeria. They will want to be back in their country. But how oh, I wish that is, that, that, that is, the majority of them, that is their cry. How, I, how they wish that that place they are, that they feel that everything is okay. How, how they wish that that place is their country. But what did they do? But they don't have jo choice. They just have to like, you know, still be there. So these people, it's unfortunate that they still, they still don't even get it. So it's not by supporting a Namdekano or not supporting a Namdekano. The most important is the truth. Anybody who says the truth, people will always reckon with what the person is the person has been saying and what the person stands for okay let's quickly take uh, some reactions from uh, people someone says um give me 10 billion naira to renovate its any complex if i face send me to prison the corruption in this country is driven by the senate all of them if they think what happened in 1966 would not happen they are joking let them keep stealing the money they would vomit all their vomit all their wives their children because god has reserved a day to judge the wicked. It is padding. It is padding. They are just padding. It is padding that is causing all this inflation. Padding. But apart from that, I don't know whether the thing is going to collapse, whether they have a specification, but the areas at which they really need to put more, to, to concentrate more, education, health sector, for where, like, like, they won't do it because they know that any little thing, or they can even get the best uh, doctors in the country. They won't do it. So, if you talk you get the result. If you don't talk, you get the result. The same country you made your money from is now zoo. Hmm. Igbo people. You can imagine. The same made money. Which which money? So if he makes money, is it supposed to be only person that will make money? Because he has conscience about people. And that is the that is the kind of mindset all these politicians have. In as much as they are okay, they don't care about other people. If he makes money, so he wants other people to make money because he makes money, you think he makes money. Do you know how many people that are are, are on his neck? It's just like a, a, a rich man in the midst of a 20 people or 30 people in the community. You are you are even worse than even the rich uh, the poorest people. You can see the kind of mentality this person is have. Uh, you made the money. Hmm. Okay. This uh, Igbo celebrities have been separatist ideas and hiding it. No, it's not by hiding it. Those are the things. What now? The issue on Grana. Some people are not talking about it. I don't even want to go back. We are talking of twenty-seven billion naira. So it is not worth t talking about. So it is only the Igbos that uh, that know that it is not right. They will continue to keep quiet. I think they should go and tell Wale Shoyinka is an Igbo man. That is why he's saying that uh, uh, the the Asu Rock is vacant. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment below from what uh, uh, Mr. P. I just said.